Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how I'm doing with my anxiety and taking the buspirone. Um, so today was my second day of taking it like I'm supposed to. And I say that because I totally missed my dosage today. Um, I've been out and about with my husband and my child um, since right after I got out of school, we went, we went to go eat and like, um, and then we went home and then we got Eli and then we started like doing other things and I ended, I ended up getting a laptop for school, which is, which I got from the, from the pawn shop for surprisingly amazing price. It was 278 for a Core i7. Um, it's like a, it's the HP ZBook 15U. Um, but yeah, it's used and, um, it works freaking awesome. So, so yeah, we got it for a really good, um, price. Um, so pretty much what I wanted to talk about was, um, how I'm feeling and like kind of what's been going on since yesterday, which surprisingly there has been a little bit, you know, stuff going on. So last night, um, after I took the buspirone at around 4 o'clock, I got anxiety around, you know, three hours later. My anxiety built back up, and uh, I decided not to take another one, just because I'm trying to do just half of one in the morning and half of one, like, in the afternoon and stuff. Um, but, um, so I got anxious, and then I got dizzy, and then I was like, like, I, I don't know why, but I had this idea. Like, I was like, Alex has, like, these drops there. I forgot what they're they're called, but they're, they're, like, these special drops you put in your ear. And they, like, supposed to, like, eat away, like, all the stuff in there and stuff. And so, pretty much last night, I decided to do that because I just couldn't do it anymore with the dizziness. And, um... So yeah, I was pretty dizzy and I decided to do that. Um, he did this ear right here. I lay down. He dropped 10 drops in there. Um, I'm so, I was supposed to feel some bubbly stuff, but I didn't feel any bubbly stuff at all. I just kind of felt like it just got clogged up with stuff and I didn't hear anything anymore. From there, it was kind of clogged up. Um, so I was like, oh man, I hope I didn't just mess up my ear because, you know, like I was afraid. I don't want to mess up my ears. So... After that, we went to the bathroom. I rinsed it out with hot water with this little dropper thing. Um, and then finally, I was able to hear, and it felt a lot better. And for some reason, my dizziness uh, went away right after he did that, which was crazy. So that means that it has something to do with my ears. Not so much anxiety and stress. Although I am stressed and have anxiety and whatever. Um... It's because my ears are, something's going on with my ears. So today I am feeling something in this ear. I had like a ringing kind of thing. It was like a beep and all of a sudden it just kind of went like, I don't know, weird. Like I can't, I mean I can hear but like if I go like this, there's something going on with this one. I don't know, it's... I don't know what it is, but I'm going to do the same thing I did to that one, hoping I get similar results. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, once I get back home, I'm going to do that. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say to you guys. I'm about to go because Alex and Eli are on their way over here. And yeah, um, I will talk to you guys later on another update, okay? Oh, and the Abuse Baron is working pretty awesome. Just getting headaches and dizziness with it. Okay, alright, bye.